is my younger swaddler demonstrating the non-spill campaign that I made myself. And as you can see, no spill at all. <laughs> so today I will be reviewing for you the no-spill bubbles and I am going to show you how to make your own spill-proof guard so that you can create your own little spill-proof container or bottle for bubbles, paint, whatever. It's so easy to make. Okay, so let's get straight into the review. So this is the no spill bottle. You can see in the center here, there is a spill proof guard and there is a very long wand. This is absolutely great. I love this, okay, because usually when I give my girls the bubbles to play with, within five seconds, the younger toddler has already spilled all the solution and they're both crying about it. This is great. It doesn't spill. Now, if they shake it very vigorously, obviously some liquid will come out. There is a hole in here after all. But on the hole in hole, they'll keep their solution in here. It's not going to tip out within a few seconds. I usually find this out in the garden, just dumped on the floor. And obviously the solution is all still in it, which is great. Now, I will comment that the solution that comes with it is not great. I did have to add um, a touch more diluted washing up liquid and that has made a huge difference. The bubble wand just slots in like this. Now this doesn't click into place or anything, there's no seal but I guess there's no need since it is a spill proof bottle. The base is really cute, I love the way that it's made to look like an ice pop. I have to say I love this, I think the design is so cute and it really does work. The key thing is um, you don't want to overfill it so when you do fill it you don't want the liquid to go past here. If it does, it just means um, a bit more liquid will pour out by the time it's turned upside down. But as you see here, liquid is not coming out. The only way liquid will come out really is if you shake it, which the kids will do, but that's fine. So now let's get straight into tutorial how to make your own spill-proof bottle, container. Let's get straight into it. To show you how to make your own spill-proof container or bottle. So what you need is a pointy knife, a pair of scissors, a container that you would like to use, marker, a bottle top. So I just cut this off a smoothie bottle. I use this because the mouth bottle is very wide and it fits my bubble wand. And the lighter, obviously a bubble wand and then some type of glue. So I actually have, um, I actually have silicone sealant here that you use in the bathroom. Okay, so to get started, I am going to take the lid of the container and mark the circle around because I'm going to cut a hole to fit this lid. So I'm going to cut a hole that's a bit smaller than what I just drew out there. To start off, um, I am just getting a knife and firmly but not pushing too hard, just twisting and twisting till there is a hole. I'm not stabbing it with a pair of scissors because that can be dangerous. I can easily stab myself with that if it slips. So the best way to kind of start cutting is to create a little starter hole to fit the scissors into. There's a tip for you. So now I can fit my scissors in. And I'm going to start cutting it in a spiral shape. So now I'm going to check if the bottle lid fits in here and it does. I'd like as snug of a fit as possible. Now if you want you can actually just leave it here and this is pretty much a spill proof product. If your children tip paint or bubble solution or anything in the container within this very little will actually leak out. But if you want it to be completely leak proof then you will use something like either a hot glue gun or a sealant like I am going to do now. Now, take it back out, give it a wash, get rid of all dust and oils so that the sealant will work best. Now you want to make sure this is very dry. I have a lighter here that will dry it up but it'll also smooth out the edges. Okay, uh, this will help the sealant and all work that bit better. Just watch your hands for any protruding bits of plastic in case it melts and fall on your skin. I just have to clarify this video is not made for children please if you are a child watching this this video is not made for you if you are use do not use a lighter 
unless if you're an adult, okay? So now I'm going to pop the lid through the hole again. So now I'm just going to use my glue of choice, which is sealant. Just squeeze some sealant around the top and the bottom here to stop any liquid coming out. And then to make sure the sealant is snug against the bottle top, I'm just going to push against it with some tissue paper. Or you can use your finger. Now my sealant should set in about half an hour, but I'm going to leave this overnight. But this is pretty much finished. And so that's how you make a spill proof bottle or container for your toddler and child. Yay! And just to quickly mention as well, if you don't have time for any of this, a very easy thing to do is just get your container and cut a hole in the plastic lid and it will be a tilt proof container. So if you give your child a container full of water so they can paint the fence outside, then it'd be less likely that they will spill this within the first five seconds. So this is the spill proof guard. So thank you so much for watching my video. If you enjoyed this and you found it useful, please let me know by giving a thumbs up. I would really appreciate that. And I'd love for you to share this video with anyone that you think would find it helpful. So until the next video, thank you and goodbye. Bye-bye.